Croc Media National Sprint Final right here behind us at Sandown Park on Friday night. It's a chilly day as we count down to the big one, but Jace, as we welcome you, 18 degrees sunshine on Friday. I can't wait. It's going to be a beautiful night, Jim. 18. These visitors turning up won't know what hit them. It's going to be a great night and two big finals to look forward to. To see Mick in a shirt today, I, I worry what he's going to be wearing on Friday night when it's 18 degrees. Hello to you. <laughs> G'day, James. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot warmer than it is right now. I'll give you the tip, but uh, no, it's going to be fun. It's going to be plenty of hot action on the track. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, the racing's no doubt going to warm us up. It is the national sprint. Here's the box draw we can see now. The Vicks have drawn okay. Uh, big flood drawing box number two. Hasten slowly in three. And Shadale a little bit awkward, but... I want to touch on Jace very quickly. I think Skyway's drawn it a touch awkwardly. I think so. We saw her last week in her trial. She only went 5.24 to the first split where she does that in this race. She's going to find herself in a bit of bother. I do think um, at that $3.20, probably a bit short. What do you think? Oh, I, I agree 100%. What about you, uh, Mick? You're, you're pretty good when it comes to, to finding them early here at Sandown Park. How, how do you see the box draw playing out? Yeah. Who, who's, who's advantageous from the box draw itself? Yeah, I think Skywave is probably the one that's disadvantaged the most. Yeah. Uh, in that trial on 5.24, she's going to have to find two to three lengths to cross this field. Um, uh, it's going to be a big ask from Box 7, but I think a couple of uh, runners in the middle there do represent good value, including Morris Minor, yeah. who is a 29.20 yeah. best time at the track. Uh, drawn box five I think can be prominent. Now I agree 100% I think Morris Mine is a really big chance. I just want to run through a few of these and, and as we prior to having a look at what they trialled here if you would just want to give me a yes or no as to whether or not you think they're a genuine chance. One, Kenley Kenny. Yes, I think he's, yes. yeah, he's formed from box number one. It's exceptional, not something you can discount. 33% of the money from tab.com.au is on that greyhound as well, so he's been really well backed. Do I you think, give him a chance? I think he's a real good place chance. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a big ask to win, but certainly a place chance. Obviously, big floods a chance, as is Hayes and Slowly. West on Augie. What did you make of him recently? Do you give him a chance? His form through the WA series has been exceptional. He's going to have to jump and jump well, but uh, if he does, he, he's certainly capable. And I know he's the kennel rep for Royal Britain Kennels, Peter Riley, he says uh, West or Norg, he's definitely going, uh, capable of going around five seconds flat. So if he does that, no doubt he's going to be in the, in the pointing end of the field. Yeah, going to bring a bit of heat to the race. We all agree the five's a chance. Six, Shadale. I know, Chase, you're a big fan. You're going to say yes, but what about you, Mick? How do you rate Shadale? I think another one is uh, a good place chance. The box is going to be a little bit awkward for him. I'm just worried where he's going to be positioned through that first turn, but he will be hitting the line yeah. quite hard. I think we all take Skywave on. We've just got a little shot here to show you as they run down the home straight. I just don't see Skywave getting over from box seven when greyhounds like Big Flood are punching through near the inside and even hasten slowly to an extent. I just think she's going to get posted deep. Buckle up, Rose. Drawn box number eight, Jace. I think everything would have to go 100% right for her to have a, a chance in the race. I think it's going to be tough for her. Look, her form on paper is good in her home state, but coming up uh, in a Group 1 event like this, I think from the draw, looks does look a bit tough for her. And before we get to selections, let's take a look at the trial times. Again, most of these greyhounds have been to Sandown Park, but was there anything that caught your eye? I thought Shadale was very good on Saturday morning. Probably not something we didn't expect going uh, 23.05, which is a, a very sl uh, fast hand slip time. We look uh, down the page, West on Augie. Again, these interstaters, they do need a first look at the track. Mick, anything caught your eye? Yeah, Morris Miner's uh, trial up at Albion Park over 395 yeah. was extraordinary, and it just shows he's in fantastic form. And if you can replicate that form where he ran that 29 20 earlier in the year, he represents great value. That's the one thing. Morris Miner beaten a length and a half by My Redeemer, who was in red hot form at the time in 29 11. It's a, a very good form line. I don't think there's anything else capable of running that in this race. Let's get ripping into selections now for the Croc Media National Sprint Final. Jace. What are you going with? James, I've gone with two, four, six, and one, with two on top, Big Flood. Just think his, his record from inside draws is sensational. Second number four, West Orn Augie. Just think he's, he's much more capable of beginning better than what he did in his trial. If he is the lead, they've got to run him down. Third number six, Shadale. In the words of his trainer, Jimmy Redenback, that $13 on offer is bull dust. So uh, <laughs> I think that's terrific value. Fourth number one, Canley Kenny. As we said before, a great record from box number one too, so it can't be ignored. It's a big story too, the, uh, the Shadale story. Story. This Greyhound tore a back muscle, was actually retired to Jimmy Redenback's backyard. He then made, on the comeback, made it through to a, a speed star race well, and now he's into a Nationals. It's, it's an unbelievable training effort. Terrific effort, and look, not only is he back racing it in good form, he's racing at the top level yeah. and racing really well. We saw how good he was in the state final, running second the big flood, and look, I think he's a serious chance in this race. 
Mickey Floyd, how do you see it? Yeah, I've, uh, I've landed on the tour as well, big flood. Uh, the Thompsons know how to get them right in these big finals. Uh, hasn't had a public trial since the uh, state final. He'll be getting nice and fresh. He'll come out, I expect him to jump very, very cleanly. We've seen him get into low fives, and if he does that, he's going to be exceptionally hard to beat. Yeah. Uh, for the miners, uh, the five, Morris Miner, um, as we said before, I think he's fantastic value at that price and a great each way chance. Western Orby, the West Australian, I'm banking on him getting out a little yeah. bit better than what he did in the trial. And uh, Shadale, well, uh, well, we just spoke about him. He's a, a great... Okay. A great campaigner, and uh, he'll be very strong at the line. Okie doke. So uh, we're all going big flood, it looks like, because I'm going two on top big flood in the Crop Media National Sprint. I went two, three, five, and one. Uh, pretty much the thing I'm really keen about big flood is something we haven't mentioned as yet. He's only had two runs over the 500 metres in around about six months. We heard that with an interview from Shona Thompson on uh, state final night. I just think he's going to improve. He's got the speed to shoulder his way to the lead. And if he gets along in front, he's probably capable now of running 29.30 or thereabouts. And I think from the lead, he'll just be too good. I went three hasten slowly for second, purely based on the fact he just, he finds his way to be competitive just about every race he goes into. And we saw him place in the Australian Cup which I think was a stronger race than this. The third, I went five, Morris Minor, based on that 29.20 personal best. And I've gone with one, Canley Kenny. I've sort of swayed my way over to the Canley <laughs> Kenny bandwagon. He's been well backed. His trial was okay here recently, post to post. And he's drawn the inside. So my number's two, three, five, and one. But we all agree Tornado Tears will win the, the distance. We all agree Big Flood will win the sprint. It's multi-time with tab.com.au. We're lucky enough to have a multi ran by our name. And Jason Adams, what does the, the Jason Adams multi have? Well, I've joined the club. Tornado Tears to win. I think he's a clear top pick in the national distance final. Second leg is Shadale to place. Just think at those winning odds of $13. He's a great place price as well. And look, he doesn't mind being outside, I think, on the, on the wider part of the track. So I think it's terrific value. For both of those, we get $6.50. So very excited to take a piece of that. And Mick, your multi, the Michael Floyd multi, as it's called this week. It is, yeah. I think uh, Tornado Tears just wins the National Distance Championship. So we'll take it in the first leg. We're going to take Morris Minor to run a place in the sprint final from box five. I don't think that'll worry him too much. He should get plenty of room early. And if he does, he's going to be uh, a lock to run third, at there least. There you go. A lock to run third. That's a pretty good push. It's $5, I believe. $5 with tab.com.au. So jump on and uh, get in queue. Yeah, I'm getting the cue. That's a, a lot of confidence from Michael <laughs> Floyd. Uh, my multi for the uh, the big night of racing on Friday. I went Tornado Tears to win, Big Flood to place. I'm going to be nearly as confident in Mick and say it's as close as you'll get <laughs> to a, a sure thing. $2.80 with tab.com.au. Before we wrap up the preview, Mick, the Victorians haven't done so well here in the past. No, it's been 50 years since the Victorian Dogs won the National Sprint Championship here at Sandown Park. Hang on a second. 50 years? 50 years. Princess Kerry back in 1968. <laughs> It was the last time we had a uh, Victorian wow. national sprint winner here at Sandown Park, but I think history will uh, will change here. I'm uh, yeah. pretty confident this year it, uh, we'll break that curse. And I'm a little bit surprised the overall numbers. Victoria with 14 uh, winners overall. Jace, 20 winners from New South Wales. It almost seems like the Victorian Greyhounds, they're like a really good bottle of wine. They're just getting better and better with age because I think now Victoria is the, the real... I guess uh, leader when it comes to good greyhounds at the moment. Yeah, I think so. And look, on the averages on the on the total of New South Wales uh, sprint wins, it is with Skyway. But I think, as you said, as, as long as time goes on, Victorians will get stronger and stronger. And I think we do expect them to win this one as well. Well, right here behind us at Sandown Park on Friday night, the best greyhounds in the nation are going head to head in the Croc Media National Sprint. Be here. It's going to be a great night of racing.